The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Rhodes, and at a combined weight of 374 pounds, Drake Wheeler and Columbus Shaw Varsity Club. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. Humiliating yourself. Look, I am in with the Street Profits. Angelo no, Dawkins. You're uh, not, Byron. You're making them less money right now. The Street Profits want nothing to do with you. These two dudes are legit. They're incredibly talented. They're tough. And they know how to have a good time that doesn't involve a bicycle museum. I even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best dressed guys in all of sports entertainment. And coming from me, that means something. Both legal men are in the ring and set the standards off here. We're ready to go. Collision on the splash. Oh, nasty impact. Uh oh, what the slam. Oh. Hooked him up. Suplex. Beautiful sent on. Rolling thunder. Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Is he done? And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Boom, what impact! He's struggling a bit here. This is not where he wants to be right now, guys. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in beautiful technique. He's back in control here. Does Montez Ford even know where he is? In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Uh-oh, bam, what a slam. Ooh, 
what impact. It's obvious Montez Ford is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that, he might have it. This might be it! Oh, my. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Does Montez Ford even know where he is? Big hip toss into the cartwheel. And a beam strike. What a combination. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they developed into a top tag team. Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined them, he looks for it once again. Nailed it. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Does Montez Ford even know where he is? Harsh impact. Oh, stop. Oh, grief. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Set it up. Big time impact from way up high. This might be it. Oh, my. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in the Angelo Dawkins is getting ready. The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a road kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue the domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss sideboard. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double count.
Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. A few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. He's looking at it. You gotta believe this one's over. I'm not sure how much he has left. Angelo Dawkins is in a real bad spot. Looking for the exclamation point. Impact. This one's over, guys. That could do it. Let's look at this one more time, Cole. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. This is all been over. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He might have it. Look at this. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. I think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Oh, impact. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. I think we're going to get the tag. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner. Looking for a repeat. <laughs> that should do it. Does Montez Ford even know where he is? He's going for it all. This could end it in a hurry. Look out! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match. Look at this. They got it. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel because he was on Here fire in this one. Here are your winners, Drake Wheeler and Columbus Shaw, Varsity Club. Big win here in tag team action tonight. They make it look so effortless in there. What an amazing duo. We've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando.